all right so here we are on our new computer we switch over to our brand new windows 10 enterprise computer where we want to uh restore all our settings our user settings our uh, documents all our uh, desktop background all our taskbar settings exactly as our old computer so the first thing we want to do is to go and check whether we the file that we just copied right now from the old computer is here which is a usmt file all right here it is so double check that it's everything is complete inside inside of which we have the load state component we have the migration app component we also have the migration of documents component and there is one more mig user which is a migrating user component and where is our configuration file here there you go we have our tech akin xml document which is our configuration file remember i said if you have made a change to that if you have made any changes to your old computer before you migrate to the new computer you have you need to have a configuration file all right so now the next thing to do will be to go and uh, fire up a powershell and uh, let's type it completely and let's run it as administrator okay it's asking for authorization we'll say yes and then I like to I always like to maximize the screen I believe you guys can see inside of my uh, PowerShell now one thing we want to check real quickly again is to go into the uh, user let's see how many user is inside of this new computer first that is how many people have logged in into this computer so you go to this PC on Windows 10 right click this PC go to properties All right, click on advanced system settings and click on user profile settings. All right, as you can see, we have this network user is on here. We have a default profile on here. This user, we also have a dev 200 administrator here but i don't see tech akin the the tech akin the new person on that old computer that we want to migrate here so that's very good so i believe we copied our usmt folder inside of the c so we changed the directory to c usmt i believe okay and we go inside that Let's check what's inside of the uh, USMT. All right, so we have all of the component that we need. We have our load state is here. We have our MIG docs. We have our uh, MIG user, and also we have our configuration file techakin.xml. So all right, so let's start to move data to migrate data uh, from our old computer to our new computer so command you want to type in is load state space and then you want to specify the location where the uh, our data was stored if you remember if you remember during our last uh just about a few minutes ago we stored our data from the old computer we store it into a network share so it's a network share we have to go back there and specify the network share is dev 100 forward slash i believe no backslash i believe migrate uh migrate okay great that's the location you have to specify where your data uh the old computer's data are stored and then space um, your configuration file you need to specify forward slash config colon tech akin dot xml 
that is our configuration file we need that configuration file to move all the data over to the new computer and we also can forward slash we have to specify to move all our application i colon migrate all our app XML. by now you should be used to this and also we also want to move all uh, only one user we want to move so migrate user dot xml All right basically we also want to specify the verbosity level which is 13 and i also want to exclude all of the users again i want to exclude all the user in that store in that data store so i type in ue column asterisk all right just a star i exclude them and i want to include only one user remember when you store the data from the old computer it's always store all of the user on that computer so you always always have to exclude all the users and then include the user that you need so i type in ui that's the command to include our user okay colon so ui colon uh the domain controller name all right and then the name of that user is tech a king that we don't have that person on this new computer yet all right and then one more command that you want to type in is forward slash c what does c mean c simply means that if you type it c it means migration error can happen when you're migrating your uh, data from one source to another but this c will help us to mitigate that error so if you type, if you type in c it's like an escape for the error message if it, if the process is going on and it and it finds any error message or any error during your um running this low state it will skip that error and then it will go and it will fix it and also make sure that your um low state is run successfully and after it's run successfully you will see uh, the number of error that would have happened okay so that's the meaning of c so in essence c helps us to mitigate all low state migration error so we're going to go ahead and just run this command to move our data so you see our data our migration is now in progress uh, the computer is moving all of the old files from the old computer and it's now moving it in, moving it into our new computer uh, you see starting the migration process and it's selecting migration unit it's examining that data store on the network share and it's uh, it's looking for all of the people that are stored and it's checking that only one user which is tech hacking and it's basically identifying which data to move so i'm gonna stop the video for a moment and then i'll be right back when this is done okay so our load state command is now successfully uh, processed so as you can see right from the beginning uh, load state started to examine this new windows 10 enterprise computer uh, to see how many migration units it's looking inside of our data store the uh, one that we run when we run scan state and store that on a network share it also look on this computer to see how many user it tried to apply all the data in that store for this user tech aking uh, and it was successful if you remember when i mentioned that when you use the parameter forward slash c it will you know uh, be helpful for you that if you use that my uh, for slash c your migration will be successful now this message say one migration error would have been fatal if not for for slash c see the log for more information our log our event log is stored in c usmt uh, low state log so we can take a look at that later to see what type of what was that error and what can we just to learn more about that so exactly so now that you the 
low state is completely successful the next step for you will be to restart your computer and then log in as tech akin but before that let's go and see if tech akin is now part of the user on this new computer so let's minimize this let's bring up a, an explorer i'm going to explore a page and let's go to this pc let's click on c drive let's click on users and now you can see it was three users in here before now we see the fourth one which is tech akin so tech akin is now part of the user on this computer all right if you also want to check again you can right click on this pc uh, check click on properties and once you click on property click on advanced system settings and also click on user profile so you can see if the new tech akin user profile have now been restored completely so we have tech akin is also part of the user now all right all right so once we verify that the user is restored and all of the profile is restored and the settings are restored we'll close and restart the computer all right restart your computer and log in as uh tech akin so i'm just going to shut down just to restart my computer uh, zero all right so once our computer is restarting i will wait for a while and then i'll see you back once the computer is back up and running so we can log in as a new user all right so once the uh load state has finished basically it has finished running and you wanted to find out whether the new user has been migrated from windows 8 into windows 10 correctly you will try to sign back in let's try to uh, sign back in at the domain controller name and then tag again our new user from windows 8 and put in the password Okay, all right, you see, it's now say tech akin welcome to Windows 10. So we will now go and verify whether the settings have been migrated correctly and it matches the Windows 8. At the same time, let's go and log into that Windows 8 as well so we can compare them side by side. So this is Windows 8. We'll also type the domain controller and tech akin password so this is the old computer which is on windows 8 now i'm going to switch back to the windows 10 now to see if the settings will migrate correctly so as you can see right away i can see that the uh the background of the windows 10 is now looking like the old uh, background of windows 8 let's verify if this is a windows 10 so i'll click on this uh, explorer and i will go to and right click on this pc and i'll click properties uh, and i will verify of course this is windows 10 says windows 10 enterprise evaluation 2019 microsoft corporation all right reserved so it is a 64-bit operating system so this is a windows 10 let's close this out and we see that we have the settings as the windows 8 so if you also look all of these icons on the desktop was restored everything is completely restored all the settings from windows 8 is completely restored on the desktop if we also look at the taskbar we see all of these icons the program icons that was on windows 8 was also restored uh, let's go look for the oh the working the working directory is there as well let's open it up and working directory let's go and see the document there are three documents inside my document all right see so we have a three uh all of the three uh data there's a code cam contrasting just codes that was on windows 8 is also restored here let's close that out 
and you see so this is how you can migrate your user settings with a load state command it's very very easy to to do um if you also look at the i believe there there are differences between applications in windows 10 and windows 8 uh, that's why some are missing on the desktop you see some apps are missing here uh, there's supposed to be some apps here but they are missing but i believe because windows 8 has a different icon that's why they are missing but let's go see our windows 8 but it all everything has been moved so let's go check our windows 8 okay this is our windows 8 as you can see it's been here in the working directory this pc properties and this is this one is windows 8 so you can see that the everything is, is looking the same like the windows 10 now uh, only some icons are missing here and I believe maybe Microsoft has changed or they've decommissioned some of the apps in Windows 8 That's why we cannot see them, but the working directory in Windows 8 contains also in my documents I believe my documents also has Some yeah, it has some document inside well, my dog so everything looks fine it looks very fantastic so let's go out of this windows 8 by signing out of windows 8 this is take a key and we sign out um, once we sign out of windows 8 this is windows 8 let's go back to windows 10 all right so now that we are inside of our windows 10 we can see and we can see that everything looks the same for Tech Akin. Tech Akin has its uh, properties, the system settings, the user settings, all the document settings restored perfectly like the old computer. And if we want to check once again that this is Windows 10, we can click on Start. We can type in WinVer to check the Windows version. And then we can click on Run command, the WinVer. You don't have to run that administrator, but just to find out, this is now Windows 10. All right, everything is now successful. It's looking very beautiful. If this tutorial has been very, very informative for you, please like, subscribe, and comment below. I really want to thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.